and welcome to episode 21 of Steel Man, which is one better than iron. We're going to start this episode off by completing the Eyes of Gloof free right there. Decent XP, but ultimately it's the seed that we wanted, because the seed gives us the Crystal Saw for a plus three con boost. Alright, and that's as a first resort complete. This quest is absolutely horrible, but the XP is nice, and the reason I actually did it was for this shop. I can now buy raw bird meat packs which I will. Right, there's catapult construction done which gives us 66 construction which means we can theoretically make a gilded altar but I can't afford one at the moment. Right and that is 67 construction meaning it should be fairly easy to boost up to be able to make my gilded altar. I just need to try and make an extra 700k or so. Right I've spent bank but I've got the all of the supplies for it. Uh, I have only got two attempts of this though before I have to go and get more uh, more spices so here's hoping. Attempt 7 and there we have our gilded altar. Took seven attempts on the stew we have still got a plus five I don't think I've got anything else that I want to make with it though. The inaugural gilded altar use and instantly level 63. Right, well my terror bird died, I got the 68 prayer from all that, for now I kind of need to make my money back. And in ending this dungeon, I have now got myself to 90 dungeoneering, which is my first level 90 stat. But far more importantly, because of the ports update today, that now gives me access to ports. So let's go and start that. Right, there's our port tutorial done, we've now unlocked ourselves ports, which is the first comp rack that we've done on this account. Although it's kind of a pointless one, because you have to do a certain amount of ports anyway for a comp rack. Alright, and that gets me 87 magic, which should also give me 110 combat, meaning I've now got access to the Dominion Tower. 20k in range there. But I need level 75, so I guess it's not going on range just yet. Well, on our second attempt, we've managed to get to 1 million factor on climber, getting to floor 61. This is why I wanted to do this, and this gives... 200k magic XP. Right, I lost the clip, but we got to 70 defense earlier, meaning I can now wear all that stuff that I don't have access to. And we've also completed Shades of Morton quest. That's Legacy of Seergaze done. Well, I decided to spend a little time hunting for War Priest. I have done one kill, and I've obtained the Zamorak key piece. Well, the, well, the frozen key piece, the Zamorak one. Um, I've got no use for this absolutely at all, because I'm never going to be able to do next ever and I never will anyway and so that's just waste of bank space I'm not going to keep it just the fact that I got it first kill just amused me I might even keep track of how many times I get that actually right well I only managed 61 kills it was quite difficult to do it with an anchor so I need better than an anchor next time uh, I got three key pieces total but I also got these black boots to go towards my boot set challenge right and that is 80 wood cutting which is my sixth level 80 plus stat I believe and with that bone, we've got ourselves 70 prayer, which is of course a massive milestone, because it unlocks uh, piety, rigor, and augury. Right, so we've now got augury, we've now got the bando spa, let's try this again. Right, well I'd stopped recording because the boss had died, but I managed to get my first ever elite clue scroll from one of the minions. Right, well it looks like even with the better gear, we've only managed two kills in the trip again. Alright, a seven step elite, we've got ourselves our first elite casket and it's pretty bad and we've got another level 80 to report this time it's fishing and on a steel dragon slayer task yesterday I managed to get myself dragon plate legs mornings end part one that's mornings end part two complete right so now that I have the death talisman to complete my talisman set I can show all of them to this bitch for a nice amount of runecrafting XP obtain the omni talisman to put in my wicked hood and this now means that I get pure essence from my hood. Alright, and that is 70 agility for Sara God Wars and the Tavali Pipe. Arguably the most useful level there is for agility. Alright, that's making history complete. Right, and that is 64 divination, which gives me a 1900 total. And after back-to-back -back Admiral Pie dailies, which are annoying as hell to do, uh, I've got myself 80 cooking, which is my 8th level 80. Uh, in theory, we've now unlocked the Ancient Cavern. Alright, uh, and there we go, that is our Mithril Dragon kill for the task. Alright, uh, so I went in and killed a Barbarian Spirit for Mangled Bones. I then went and got the correct log, which is the Arctic Pine ones. 
uh, so that I can create this Pyre ship, which is the final hard task that I needed to complete for the Fremenic set. Okay, so we've got ourselves Sea Boots 3 and another lamp for Herblor. And that's 67 summoning, which gives us the War Tortoise pouch. Right, and that is 85 fletching, meaning I can now make the magic shield bow. I wanted to say longbow there, but it's a shield bow now. And there's Inarcra's Inar Lament. That's the path of Glufri done, meaning I can now farm warped tortoises for shells. The Prisoner of Glufri, and that's 215k XP. That is a great quest reward, and it's got me 66 thieving. Right, and that kill gets me 70 range, meaning I can now use not this salamander. Right, well I've got a melee task, so I'm going to buy the Slayer Helm Learn Craft ability, because I've got spare points too. So now I've done that, let's go make one. And that means that I now have a Slayer Helmet. 